I've been in the Air Force since 1979. I went to the academy right out of high school, graduated there. I've been a general surgeon ever since 1998. I came here as the clinical master or master clinician. It's a new program the Air Force has created to try to keep some older surgeons involved in the uh, practice of medicine. And it's been great having him. He just got here when I did, so it was he's a great addition and everybody uses him. They found a need to have gray-haired guys like myself around to help mentor and provide guidance to these younger surgeons and some oversight um, to improve the quality of care. If I have a question on a patient, I immediately can go to him. He's always available. So I can always tell the patients that they have, you know, experience on their side. They have my new training and my skills in addition to the mentorship of Colonel Rusi, who's always available and always willing to help and doesn't really take any credit and uh, he's our background kind of rock. And so I think we're really in tune with what our patient population is um, and understand and can be empathetic with what it is like to be a military spouse or on active duty and have served your country. I've deployed four times to the uh, combat field. It's a very rigorous but very rewarding experience as a surgeon. You have one job uh, and that one job is to take care of the troops um, and make sure that they get home alive. I love the patients. It, you know, medicine to me was not about the money. It was about taking care of people. And it's been an honor and a pleasure to take care of the vets, uh, the retirees and the active duty people that have given so much. And I've seen what they've given. Um, they're great, great young men and women. And that's why I stay around. Thank you to all our doctors who serve those who serve our country.